Long-term interest rates in major economies, including Korea, have generally shown a linkage to changes in long-term U.S. government bond interest rates, despite differing financial and economic situations. This trend has intensified throughout a period of global monetary tightening since 2022. Particularly noteworthy is the increased synchronization observed in Korea with the long-term U.S. government bond interest rates. The expanded impact of U.S. Treasury yields on the Korean economy can be attributed to five main reasons. First, since 2019, there has been a notable increase in financial linkage between Korea and the United States, primarily revolving around portfolio investments. As interest rates fell and as global stock markets rose after COVID-19, a major factor was the significant expansion of domestic residents' investment in securities overseas. Simultaneously, with the quantitative and qualitative growth of the domestic bond market, the amount of foreign investment coming into Korea experienced a rapid escalation. Notably, the market in Korea for government bond futures has emerged as a primary choice for investors worldwide, alongside that in Australia, when strategizing portfolio management within the Asian region. The second is the synchronization of the real economy and policy interest rates due to the shock of high global inflation. Facing unexpected price shocks in 2022, each country sharply raised their policy interest rates. Accordingly, the market's long-term expectations for policy interest rates have also increased significantly, putting upward pressure on long-term interest rates in major economies. Third, domestic investors' tendency to follow U.S. interest rates has strengthened. In the process of responding to macroeconomic shocks, from the pandemic to high global inflation, it appears that a kind of sticky expectation has been formed among investors in Korea, who have observed the high synchronicity of interest rates between Korea and the United States. To validate this observation, we conducted calculations of the expected short-term interest rate correlation coefficient between major economies and that of the United States. Our findings indicate that the sticky expectations formed by investors post-COVID-19 continue to exert an influence even beyond 2023. In addition, as U.S. Treasury yields fluctuated significantly due to the influence of economic news and remarks by U.S. Federal Reserve officials, Korea's sensitivity to related news also increased, and the shock from U.S. Treasury yields appears to have expanded. Moreover, since last year, drivers influencing domestic government bond interest rates have remained largely stable, leading to a relative reduction in the influence of domestic factors. Fourthly, there has been a notable expansion in directional trading by foreigners in the government bond futures market, particularly those who tend to align their strategies with the movement in U.S. Treasury yields. When U.S. Treasury yields soared, buying positions were quickly liquidated, and conversely, when U.S. Treasury yields plummeted, buying positions were built on a large scale, contributing to strengthening the domestic ripple effect. The final factor to stress is the strength of the U.S. dollar. This strength heightened risk aversion worldwide and exacerbated financing conditions at domestic financial institutions, leading to an increase in the term premium of domestic government bond interest rates. The ripple effect of U.S. Treasury yields is expected to remain high for the time being. In this regard, there is a possibility that domestic long-term government bond interest rates will show high volatility due to the influence of U.S. Treasury yields in the process of pivoting the Korea-U.S. monetary policy stance. Nonetheless, if there is a significant divergence in global monetary policies based on the price and economic conditions of individual countries, the influence of U.S. Treasury yields may diminish to some extent. Moving forward, it will be imperative to enhance communication regarding the future direction of monetary policy. This will enable market participants to form expectations in alignment with the domestic economic situation.